Although Mario would arguably be the face of Smash, Kirby is an extremely familiar character that holds a special place in the series' history. He was created by Masahiro Sakurai, who also created Super Smash Bros., so Kirby finds himself at the heart of Smash. If you checked out our video on the competitive history of Kirby, you know that the Pink Puffball started out as a top tier in the original Smash Bros. for Nintendo 64. Then, perhaps out of modesty, Sakurai nerfed his beloved creation to the ground, resulting in one of the weakest characters in Melee. Since then, Kirby has seen a few changes, but remains a pretty mediocre character. In each iteration after 64, he's forced to rely on gimmicks like Kirby siding or getting clutch gimps to accomplish anything notable. He suffers from the same weaknesses in every game. He's slow, has small range without disjoints, his telegraph recovery is vulnerable to edge guards, and he's light and floaty so he'll get launched like the little marshmallow he is. But on the other hand, lots of Kirby's design is intended to make him an easy character to play for beginners or casual smashers. He has multiple jumps, so players don't need to worry about up being most of the time, his moves are straightforward and easy to use, and whether you're competitive or casual, it's undeniable that Kirby is adorable. If you are a competitive player though, adorable is about all Kirby has going for him. In Smash Ultimate, Kirby is consistently placed in bottom tier, sometimes competing with Little Mac for the role of worst character in the game. We've seen this time and time again, and we think Kirby deserves more. In this video, we'll discuss how Kirby could be fixed to shine in the spotlight without losing those Kirbyisms that make him who he is. For our question of the day, how would you buff Kirby? We're gonna take a look at some suggestions that your fellow viewers provided as well, so let us know and see if they felt the same. Hey guys, Bonk here, and if you want to become a master of Kirby or any character, check us out on ProGuides.com. See a character you like? We've got guides on them. Want to learn with your fellow Smashers and play with pros? Our live classes will let you do just that. Looking for a personal coach? Our Instapro platform is the only place where you can get instant access to your choice from dozens of skilled pros. All of this and more only on ProGuides.com. Let's take a deeper look at Kirby's weaknesses. Kirby has an average run speed, but his air speed is the fifth slowest in the game. This is not always a big deal for characters who can run fast or fall fast, but Kirby has no other speed value to make up for it. In fact, Kirby is also one of the floatiest characters in the game, so he'll be spending a lot of time in the air. He takes forever to land, and during this time he'll have trouble moving very far left or right. This speed issue leads to many problems. As implied, Kirby struggles to land. His multiple jumps give him some ways to mix it up, but he's likely going to get juggled hard by good players, especially against disjointed up airs. Lack of speed also hurts his ability to approach, and Kirby needs to approach to get anything done with his stubby limbs. It's pretty obvious when Kirby is moving towards you because he'll take his time doing so, meaning he'll need to be very ambiguous and mix things up just to get in. Kirby's poor airspeed hurts his recovery quite a bit too. You might think that having multiple jumps makes his recovery great, but that's not really the case. For one thing, his up special basically only travels straight up, so Kirby will have to jump and drift all the way to the ledge before using it. During this time, he can be swatted away by any character with strong edgeguarding traits. His up special itself is pretty bad as well. Kirby's up B doesn't snap to the ledge unless he sweet spots it, and even then, it's very vulnerable to counters and edgeguards from above. His range is another big problem. Kirby has to be really close to his opponent to land a hit. This makes him extra vulnerable to trades, which is even worse for a light character that struggles in disadvantage. Especially in a metagame with tons of strong sword characters, Kirby will find himself easily outspaced. But what changed so much from Kirby in Smash 64? He was still pretty slow in the air back then. One of the major differences was Kirby's hitboxes. His up tilt in particular was gigantic, acting as a great anti-aerial and even shield pressure tool. Smash 64 had tons of hits done, so this gave Kirby an amazing combo game using moves like up tilt. In many ways, the change in game mechanics may have hurt Kirby the most. His moves like up tilt and fair are still his combo options in ultimate, but the lower hits done compared to 64 greatly reduces his ability to secure strong combos. This goes for every character, but with his weaknesses even back then, this combo ability is what really allowed Kirby to rise to the top. Now that we understand his weaknesses, let's take a look at some of your suggestions on how to improve Kirby. First up, viewer Joe Allen says, Give Kirby faster airspeed, make forward throw go through platforms allowing him to combo on them, and make his down B shield break like in Smash 4. 
we'll start with the elephant in the room. Almost every comment suggested increasing Kirby's airspeed, and for obvious reasons. It's such a fundamental weakness, and improving it will help Kirby in so many ways. With faster airspeed, he could approach better and be more ambiguous with his drift like Jigglypuff, he could land and avoid juggles more easily, drifting safely to the ledge if need be, his combo game would improve as Kirby already uses a lot of horizontal chasing in his B and Bs, and his recovery would be much better and less reliant on a B. You might argue that this buff would change Kirby's archetype. He had slow airspeed in every Smash game after all. But it's such a subtle change on the surface, so Kirby would probably still feel like himself. Joe's second suggestion tackles a rather pesky issue. When Kirby bounces off the ground during his forward throw animation, he'll land on a platform if there's one above him, but the opponent will still get launched the same way. Forward throw is Kirby's main combo throw at low percents, usually linking into a forward air or down air for a potential regrab. Landing on the platform puts Kirby too high to get any of these follow-ups though, completely ruining his best combo throw. This could easily be changed so he goes through the platform on the way down, or the opponent gets launched from the platform height like Rob's up throw. Lastly, Joe mentions Kirby's down beat. In Smash 4, this move was great for shield breaks, providing a neat mix-up if you were right above someone. This attribute was inexplicably removed in Ultimate. It wasn't even that easy to land, and Kirby could really use another strong option to clutch out stocks, so that would be great to see brought back. Next, viewer Lucky the Frog presents an interesting idea. They said, make it so he has more than just one special when taking someone's power. And if he takes a sword power, give him sword attacks. It would be cool to see him not just have the sword sheathed the whole time. It could give him better matchups than those hard sword matchups, but I'd change everything about the powers he got and not much else because that would make him more viable. Addressing the second point first, giving Kirby sword attacks on his entire moveset when copying a swordie would be really cool, but that would probably be too much of a change to keep Kirby feeling like himself. The first suggestion, however, is a talking point seldom raised. In recent Kirby games, he's able to use multiple attacks acquired when copying an enemy, and this would be incredible in Smash. Kirby's side and down specials are borderline useless anyway, and his up special could be much better. Imagine the possibilities if Kirby could copy every special move from a character. He'd be able to unleash Hero's slew of command selections, use Game & Watch's up B out of shield, cheese you with Wonder Wing, and so much more. As it is now, Kirby's copy is only a useful strategy in certain matchups where the character he's fighting has a great neutral special. With this change, he'd be a far more interesting character and would have a significantly different matchup spread, still struggling against already difficult matchups if they have useless specials, but gaining a multitude of useful options against other characters. Oh my god, imagine what Kirby could do with Bayonetta's up and side special. <laughs> like, his up air is an actual kill move. Well, sadly, that'll probably never happen. The sheer amount of work it would take the developers to program three more moves from over 80 characters into Kirby would be a daunting task. It's still fun to dream about, though, and dreaming is part of the Kirby brand, after all. Finally, viewer Lewis Carr lays out a list of specific changes. They said, for down B, less lag after the transformation and give it the ability to shield break. For back air, have it auto cancel earlier so it's safer and neutral. For inhale, increase the size of the grab hitbox and give Kirby the option to spit out a star with the strength of any projectile he swallows and the star cannot be reflected. For up B, make it faster so he has a fast out of shield option in front of him. And for forward throw, adjust the angle so it combos into up air. A lot of useful buffs here. Down B is a very risky option already since you can grab Kirby out of the stone, so it's hardly used competitively. A good lag reduction on it would be nice. Back air auto cancelling earlier would be more of a quality of life buff, but considering his lack of range, Kirby deserves to be safe on most of his aerials. Increasing the size of inhale would help Kirby, but basically buffs his biggest gimmick, and that usually isn't a great way to improve a character's core gameplay. Furthermore, being able to inhale and shoot out any projectile would be great and is something that even DDD can do in some ways, but in Kirby lore, there are plenty of projectiles that the little guy can't inhale too. An up B speed increase would help a lot. Out of shield, it could be a great option to help Kirby up close, like clouds. And being faster would make it harder to edge guard too. There's a neat custom up B in Smash 4 that does basically all of this. Finally, forward throw buffs would be great to improve Kirby's low percent combo game, but still doesn't tackle his core weaknesses, so it would be more of a buff than a fix. Overall, we can't deny that an airspeed increase would be the overall best thing for Kirby. 
Other small buffs would help too, as well as some potential hitbox size increases. Kirby has already been buffed a few times and even had his ground speed buffed in Smash 4, so anything is possible. We'll just have to wait and see. Anywho, let us know which character you'd like to see fixed in Smash Ultimate, and don't forget to subscribe to Pro Guides and click that bell so you never miss another video.